All right, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakai Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to the Akim that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. This is the brother Zion Ma from the GMS Detroit by Camp. And just coming to you with a quick video, you know, dealing with the, the term or word, all right, imperialism or um, imperial, because um, just one of those words I overheard uh, one of my um, children um, um, going over, going on or studying in school um, for, right? And, you know, Esau, he uses these different words, you know, when it comes to basically uh, overcoming, you know, the so-called Negroes, Latin, and Native Americans of today, one of the words being imperialism, you know, or um, you also have, um, you know, he used the word colonists or um, uh, Puritan, you know, this, that, and the other, basically trying to hide, uh, hide the truth of the matter of him being the devil that the Bible speaks of. You know, he uses all these um these these proverbs, you know, to, to hide behind, you know, so that you don't know that he is the devil that the Bible speaks of. All right. His true biblical name is Esau or Edom. The word Edom meaning red. But just to get into this lesson, you know, as you can see on the screen, I have the word imperial. All right. And one of the definitions um, denotes a government, authority, or a system. But I want to jump down here because it's more um, in tune with this lesson, all right? Um, as a matter of fact, I read all of it. It says, the policy, practice, or advocacy of extending the power and dominion of a nation, especially by direct territorial acquisitions. Kind of, that's what the so-called white man did, He, all right? He he acquired right America by by the force of the sword, right? Because that's the blessing, right? That was uh, bestowed upon him, you know, from his father Isaac, right? Um, just to read on, it says, or by gaining indirect control over the political or economic life of other areas, kind because hey, the so-called white man, right? He's the cancer of the earth. Right in all actuality, the 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 earth was uh, made right for the Israelites' sake. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latin, and Native Americans of today, it wasn't made for any of these heathen um, nations to be ruling, but because we went off against the Most High, right? The Most High set these other nations up to uh, basically basically uh, reprimand us or to correct us, right? These other nations are, are basically the weapon stick of the Most High, starting with Esau Edom, all right, who is the chief, chief, um, you know, counterpart, all right, to Israel, all right. But uh, just to read down, it says, broadly, the extension or imposition of power, authority, or influence, right, God, and hey, this so called devil. All right, through his authority, through his might, his power, right? Because as the scriptures say, the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, the wicked being a so-called white man, all right? And that should be easy to see if you have, you know, eyes to see and ears to hear, all right? It's, it's no, no, um, no secret that the so-called white man rules everything that goes on in the entire earth, all right? And he's using his authority, all right, and his influence to basically um, enslave, all right, you so-called Negroes, Latin, and Native Americans, all right, so much to the fact that we've totally, all right, been discontinued from our heritage, all right? We don't know, as a people, we don't know who our power is, all right? We don't know our nationality, all right? We, we, don't, we don't have our language anymore or any of our customs, all right? You got two thirds of our people, all right, that 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 um basically takes to you know being an African American or black, all right, subscribing to to black culture. And what is that? Right? The word black means 
uh, basically um, um, darkness. All right. So for you to call yourself black, all right, you in the dark, you're not in the know, you're ignorant. All right. So what's going on? OK. And if you were to call yourself African-American, all right, that's dealing with two different co co continents. Right. Well, which were named after two Edomites or two so-called white people. All right. One being Leo Scipio Africanus. All right. That's where you get Africa from. And then America, um, um, an Edomite by the name of uh, Amerigo Vespucci. Right. Because he was one of the um, guys that that um, if I'm not mistaken, I got to go back into that. But he one of the guys that that um, that that drew up the maps. All right. For what we know as um, America today. All right. But um, just to uh, grab a few scriptures dealing with this topic, you know, of um, imperialists. Right. Because, hey, the Bible, right, deals with, all right, law, statutes and commandments, and it deals with prophecy. And one of the prophecies was that, you know, Esau would um, basically set up his authority over you Israelites. All right. In the process of time. All right. As a matter of fact, we can get that. That's in uh, well, one of the scriptures we can use is Deuteronomy 28. And I'm gonna start at uh, I start at forty eight. It says, "Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, which Yahweh shall send against thee, in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness, and in want of all things." So when the so-called white man came over here to the Americas, all right, that was the spirit of the Lord sending that Edomite. Over here, sending those Edomites over here. All right, start with um, the the infamous Christopher Columbus, as they will call him, or Cristobal Colon, all right, which is his, his real name, who was a so called Jew, all right. And, and by the way, the, the the real Jews are you so called Negroes, all right? But he he perpetrated the fraud of being a so called Jew, all right, or Jewish, all right, and he was. One of the devils, right, that came over and slayed a lot of, a lot of um, Native Americans, right, when he came over to um, to Hispaniola, right, or to this side of the earth, I would say, right. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Yahweh shall bring a nation against thee from far and from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle flieth. Hey, what is the um, America's mascot today? It's the eagle, you know, the bald eagle, you know, flying on high, right? Because basically, see, the, the, the Bible speaks in, in similitudes and metaphors, all right? He'll, he'll the, the most high, all right, through scripture, he'll give you um, basically um, um, signs, all right? He'll give you metaphors, all right, to to basically be able to extrapolate or to put two and two together. I say just to say it plain. He'll 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 make it where you can put two and two together, all right. If you have the spirit, which is the word of the Most High, all right. So in process of time, you know, we see that the eagle is is America's mascot, all right. We see that. The people that put the so-called Negroes, Latin, and Native Americans in slavery happen to be the so-called white man. So from that, you know, this scripture fits the so-called white man coming over here and taking over our people. All right. And being a so-called imperialist. All right. He used his his might and his authority. All right. And his blessing of the sword to enslave you so-called Negroes, Latin, and Native Americans. All right. It says. As swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. Kind. <coughs> because when Esau, a, a matter of fact, when Esau came to uh, the west coast of Africa, all right, you had a lot of our people, all right, <coughs> that, um, you know, uh, built, you know, colonies and, and lived, you know, amongst the west coast of Africa, all right, where we kept our customs. 
all right, where we knew the name of the Most High, when we knew the Hebrew, all right. So when the white man came over to our people, all right, he was speaking a tongue that we that we didn't know, that we couldn't comprehend, that we couldn't understand, all right, because we weren't speaking English, all right, as a whole at that in those times, you know, uh, basically going back to uh, to uh, we'll say notably, you know, fourteen ninety two. You know, and, uh, you know, when so-called white man, you know, rounded us up, we didn't understand, you know, that English language. All right. Because you have a lot of our people, like I say, we were deep into our own custom, doing our own thing, because, hey, that's how the most I set it up. He set it up for us, all nationalities to be separate. All right. And that's what we did. We coexist, all right, amongst our own people, all right, and kept our customs. But when the white man came over here, all right, we didn't understand, you know, basically what the hell they were saying. You know, so the scriptures are true. So just to read on, it says, A nation of fierce countenance, which did not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Kind of, a, a good movie that illustrates that is, um, uh, this movie Roots, you know, which, you know, all of Jake should have seen, you know, at some some point in their life, you know, because a lot of times they're playing in the school or, you know, it it uh, come on uh, television or hell. I mean, you know, we, we have the, uh, you know, basically we have technology, you know, whether it's YouTube or Fire Stick or cable, whatever have you, you know, you might have sat down or or sat in on the uh the uh the uh the saga um roots you know did it with uh alex haley i believe his name was but that illustrated you know how the so-called white man conquered us as a people right as we can use the term today uh imperialism right but hey the most beautiful thing is that hey the the most high is is a just power, and he's gonna uh, return everything that he did to us, every every everything that the so called white man did to us, he's gonna return it upon his own head, all right? Because hey, yeah, Yahweh Shai, all right, who the word ignorantly calls, calls Jesus Christ, all right? His true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, meaning he delivers or he saves, and that's just what he's coming to do. He's coming back to save. Right, namely the elect, right, of the nation of Israel, which consists of the hundred and forty four thousand, right, of you so called Negroes, Latin and Native Americans, as well as one third of the whole nation. All right. Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver, all right, the Israelites, and he's gonna um basically destroy, all right, America and and a lot of Edomites with it. And the ones, you know, that so-called escape, they're going to go into hardcore slavery, all right? So, hey, in turn, all right, we can say that Yahweh Shai is an imperialist, all right? That he's the one that's going to set up, all right, his power and his authority and righteousness, all right, under, under the supreme power, Yahweh, all right? Because, hey, that's what this world needs, man, because we see what the world, what can happen to the earth, all right, when when wickedness is abound, all right, when wickedness flourish, all right, it's no end to what this so-called white man, you know, will do, all right. So you know, I ain't want to go too heavy on that, but you know, with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakwadash, dumb honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. A piece of salutation to the oculus pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.